The Duke and Duchess relationship with the royal family has reportedly been strained for a number of years and came to a head during an interview with Oprah Winfrey last year where the couple made a number of accusations about the firm. Richard Fitzwilliams described the couple as being destructive. He said, Whatever future they want, they're completely unpredictable in my opinion, don't keep knocking the British royal family. Don't keep knocking your family, which it is. They have a very destructive side, and Oprah showed that very clearly. Prince Harry can't win in the court of public opinion following his fallout over security in the UK, former royal butler Grant Harold has explained. The Duke of Sussex, 37, recently announced his decision to not return to the UK for his grandfather Prince Philip's Thanksgiving service, set to take place later this month. Although the decision risks disappointing the Queen and the rest of the royal family, former butler and royal expert Grant has explained the prince is in a catch-22 situation. Prince Harry recently raised concerns about his safety during his trips to the UK and threatened legal action to acquire security for his family when they fly over from the US. But, his request to pay for his own police protection was denied. Instead, Harry would receive a security system that is rigorous and proportionate by the government, the details of which have not been disclosed. Royal commentator Grant explained Harry is now at risk of coming under fire with whatever decision he makes. Grant told, The problem is, the public will be like, well if you love your grandfather, why are you not coming over for the royal service? It's a real catch-22 and I hate to say it but either way he is not going to win on it because he's going to be criticized if he doesn't criticized if he doesn't. He added of the Duke of Sussex, I think he's worrying that if he does come over you are going to have everyone saying, oh god he's wasting taxpayers' money, we're all paying for him to come over again, here we go. And if he doesn't come over, oh you're awful you're not coming over for your grandfather. He can't win. Grant explained how the court of public opinion is divided on the matter. He said, it's fascinating because I said to them, tell me what you think about this and it is 50-50. It's extraordinary. I know this is what will happen and he probably knows that he will come under fire whatever he does. But, unfortunately, I don't think it'll be a lie say to an extent there will be disappointment in the family because they will want him to be there if he can be there. Grant added how he feels Prince Charles and Prince William may be disappointed in Harry if his decision not to attend his late grandfather's Thanksgiving service is solely over security. He explained, there could be something we don't know so, then, they wouldn't be disappointed and if anything they might saying, you do whatever it is what you've got to do. But, if it is black and white and it's all to do with this security issue then I'm sure there will be a part of a disappointment because they may be saying, is it worth not being there for your grandfather's memorial service over this security issue? In addition, Prince Harry has come under fire from critics after appearing in a light-hearted Invictus Games video to promote the foundation. The Queen's grandson wears an orange hat and sunglasses in the silly skit. And he goes on to strip off and reveal he is wearing an orange top and shorts, too. But some royal family fans are disappointed Prince Harry is able to make an Invictus event in Holland in April after reportedly snubbing Prince Philip's memorial service at the end of this month. One user slammed him, he can go to the Netherlands but not to see his own grandmother, something is not right with him. Another claimed, Harry is refusing to attend his grandfather's memorial for armed security but will go to the again the NL.